Hi guys, it's Jaden here from the blog Back Row Blue, and today I wanted to show you how to sew these really cute pot holders. Um, I sewed a few the other day. They're really quick and easy, a really simple sewing project for beginners. If you don't know what you're doing, um, if you just know how to sew a straight line, you could do this. They would make great gifts. They're really cute as gifts. You could just throw some in a gift bag with some other things, maybe a handmade candle, um, whatever you want. And you can really get creative and fun with the patterns that you choose in the fabric to make it cute and personalized. So here we go. What you're gonna need is two squares of nine by nine fabric in whatever coordinating colors or fabric that you want. I'm just using the same color for both of mine two nine by nine squares, one two by five rectangle of fabric, and then two nine by nine squares of insulated thermal lining. You can get this on Amazon. I'm gonna link it in the description box below. This is what the packaging looks like. This will make your uh, hot pads heat resistant, so it's really important that you get this. You will also need, of course, a sewing machine, an iron, and an ironing board, some pins, and I think that's it. Okay, so you're going to start with your two by five inch piece of fabric, and you're gonna fold it in half lengthwise like this. Wrong sides together, fold it in half, and iron that flat, okay? Then, you are going to open it up and fold these ends into the center. This one and the bottom one too. And iron it again. I'll show you what it looks like after I iron it. Okay, so the ends are folded into the center. And we're going to iron it flat. So this piece is actually going to act as the little hook when you're all finished. This little hook piece right here so you can hang it. And I'll show you how we do that. So after you've ironed it flat, folded the outside pieces into the center and ironed it flat, you're gonna fold it in half one more time. The right sides together, everything is together so that all of the raw edges are folded onto the inside. No raw edges. And then you're gonna iron it one more time. Now we can set this little piece aside until we head over to the sewing machine later. Okay, now for assembling your hot pad. So you're going to get your fabric. We're gonna put two right sides together of the fabric. Two right sides together. And you're gonna lay this down on top of one square of the insulated batting. Batting first, two pieces of fabric right sides together, and then batting on top of that. And make sure it's really even. And at this point, you really wanna make sure that you're airing on the side of the fabric being bigger than the batting rather than the batting being bigger bigger than the fabric. Because when you go to sew it, if your um, batting is bigger than the fabric, it's not gonna sew right. If you do have like an overhang of batting, just trim it off with some scissors. What we're going to do, I'm gonna explain it real quick. We're just gonna sew all the way around and we're gonna leave a small opening about two to three inches on one side, the side that we can use to turn it inside out. So what I do, so that I can mark where that opening is gonna be so I don't forget when I go to sew. I'm gonna put two pins to start off in that spot. So I'm gonna to start to pin it. Another thing that you can do is make a pin in one of your corners or a double pin so that it's a mark in one of your corners so that you can remember when you go to sew 
just pinning all of the pieces together as evenly as I can. So when you go to sew, you're going to start sewing right here and you're going to sew all the way around. We're going to put in our little piece of fabric for the hook. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. We're going to sew all the way around, back to here, do a back and forth stitch right here, back and forth stitch at the beginning, and we're going to leave this part open for turning it inside out. Okay, let's take both of these over to the sewing machine and get started. You're going to start by sewing down the two sides of your small strip of fabric about an eighth of an inch in to seal it, and then you're going to sandwich it in between your pot holder on the inside in between the two fabrics with the raw edges out. Now you're going to sew that little piece of fabric inside. Go all the way around that edge. Normally you would continue sewing all the way around the edges and just sew that right in, but I forgot to add my hook so I went back and did it. Now we're going to sew all the way around the edges about a quarter of an inch in. Start with a back and forth stitch and then go all the way around the edges. And just making sure all of the fabric is even as you go. So normally you would have sewn your little hook in while you're sewing around the edges, but I just forgot when I was filming. And when you get to the last, the very last edge, remember you wanna have a two to three inch uh, space for you to be able to turn it inside out so once you get to your double pin where you marked so that you can remember you're going to do a back and forth stitch I'm ending mine right here at my mark, so I'm gonna do a back and forth stitch right here to close it and cut the thread. Now you're just going to trim all of that excess fabric in the corners and along the edges. Just get as close as you can to your stitching, but of course not going over any of your stitching and be sure to get the corners really good. And you can also trim off the excess of your um, loophole. Now you're going to find the middle and start turning it inside out as best you can. Just work your way all the way around the edges. Use your fingers to push the corners out really well. At the opening, you're going to fold in those raw edges and do a top stitch all the way around about a quarter of an inch in. Now you're going to do a quilting stitch. You can do whatever kind of pattern you like. In this one, I'm just doing an X. So I'm doing a top stitch down and an X to each corner. This will just keep the insides from moving around. There you have it. I hope that was easy enough to understand. And I just wanted to show you so you can see you have a lot of different options for the stitches that you do um, in the middle for the quilting. I did an X, just a simple X on this one, and then a little bit of a pattern on this one. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Um, or if you've ever made hot pads before, let me know as well. I'm also going to leave the measurements and the step-by-step -step tutorial in my written blog over at backwardbloom.com. I will link that in, description, in the description box below as well as where I got the Insulbrite and anything else that I think you might need. I'd love you to hit that subscribe button. I'm planning on getting out new videos every week on old-fashioned homemaking, so old-fashioned skills like sewing and gardening and canning and anything else along those lines. Thank you so much for stopping by.